watch and burn. Hey everybody. So tonight I want to talk about Ogre's 2001 album, and that is Welt. Now first and foremost, for anybody who doesn't know, Ogre is one third of Skinny Puppy. His, his claim to fame is being a member of that incredibly awesome band. And he has a really rich and uh, very, very well supported solo career. And he has tons of fans and everybody loves his solo stuff, except for me. And this record, this, I, I love the production. I love the drums. I love how there's a ridiculous amount of groove. There's a lot of like hip hop influence tossed in here. And that's really fun. And it, it, helps, it helps things flow really well. And this record does sort of like vibe along really well. But there's not a lot of songs on here that are, are standing out to me. The biggest song on here is the album Closer and that is Minus. It's the only song on here that crushes the way that does. I mean, that chorus is just so big and it's so pounding and it's so devastating that it it's a really great way to end the record but usually you end a record with something that big that you've been slowly building up to throughout the course of the rest of the record and i just don't feel that this album does that i mean <sighs> cracker and sleep s-u-h-l-e-a-p which i suppose is an odd way of pronouncing the word sleep i'm not a hundred percent so Cracker, Salip, and Minus were the only songs on here that have really sort of withstood the test of time. And Minus is my absolute favorite song. Cracker and Salip are wonderful and they're fun and they're catchy and they're memorable, but they're not Minus. And nothing else on this record seems to reach those heights. Those three songs seem to exist on an island of loneliness. And other than the, the amazing production, and the incredible sense of timing and rhythm and grooves that are all over this bad boy. What the fuck was that? This record just never connected with me. I love the artwork. Um, I, I love how spacious the drums are produced. I love how every, every single snare hit is pronounced and it has its own space and the spectrum. And I think my favorite thing overall, other than those three songs, would be the drums, or the drum production rather. But yeah, I mean, this record's just sort of like whatever. And yeah, so that is where I will leave it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for three and a half minutes while I discussed, I think, Ogre's first solo record from way back in 2001. Like always, if you like this review or you like this record, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. But as always, most importantly, don't forget that the world is actually a better place because you are in it. I'm going to go. Have a good night.